Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to import an SVG file, or a scalable vector graphic file into After Effects. I will also be using Adobe Illustrator, so this tutorial will also be useful if you just want to learn how to prepare an Illustrator file to import it into Adobe After Effects. If you're not familiar with SVG, or Scalable Vector Graphic Files, these are web-friendly graphics, and they're vector-based, meaning you can scale them as big as you want or as small as you want, and you'll never lose quality like you would in a pixel-based graphic, such as a JPEG or a PNG image. I am using svgrepo.com. I'll leave a link in the description. I went to the travel theme collection. I like the sailboat, so I just clicked on it to open it, then clicked on the button, download SVG vector. There's the .svg file that I just downloaded. I'm on a Mac, so I can select it, tap the spacebar to preview, but I'm unable to open or import the .svg file directly into After Effects. So first, we're gonna open it in Adobe Illustrator. I'll select the SVG file on my desktop and drag it right onto Adobe Illustrator. Then go to the Layers panel. You'll see there's just this one layer one, but if I twirl that open, now I can see all the elements that make up this sailboat. I'm just clicking on the little eyeball to toggle on the visibility. So what we need to do is convert all of these paths and compound paths into their own layers. The easiest way to do that is just select this layer one at the very top, click on the little hamburger menu or those three horizontal lines in the top right corner, then choose this option, release to layers sequence. So I'm just going to click that. Now I'm just gonna select all these. I'll press the first one, hold the shift key, select the last one, and I just wanna move it out of this layer one group. So I'll just click and just drag it right above it. And I have that layer one on the bottom, which is empty. So I'll just select it, go to the very bottom right and click on the trash can to delete it. And to make it easy so you can animate the individual layers when you import it into After Effects, I would highly recommend you just take the time now and rename each layer. So you can just toggle on and off the visibility, then just double click on the layer to rename it. So now everything is on its own layer and has been renamed which is really the key whenever you're preparing any Illustrator file to be imported into After Effects. So now all we need to do is save this as an Illustrator file. So I'll go to the file menu and go to save as. I'm gonna change the format from SVG to Adobe Illustrator or a .ai file. Let's go sailboat, type svg.ai, and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and then just click save. We'll keep the version to the latest version, click OK. Now in After Effects, I'll double click on an empty space in the project panel to open up the import dialog box. I'll select the .ai file. I'm gonna import as, I'll change this to composition, retain layer sizes, then click open. I'll double click on the sailboat SVG. Now you'll see there are all the layers neatly labeled just like I had them in Illustrator. I can animate all of the individual layers. And now all I need to do is just drag the pre-comp into my main comp or any other composition. And if I want to access the individual layers again, all I need to do is just double click the pre-comp to open it. And here's the fix. When you are working with Illustrator and vector-based graphics in After Effects, and you zoom in and you're seeing that they're pixelated and blurry, but these are vectors. So we should be able to scale these as big and as small as we want without losing any quality. First, make sure that you see all these little switches. So if you don't see it, just right click, go to columns and check switches. Then double click to open up the pre-comp, select all the layers and just tick the box. This is the continuously rasterized button for the individual vector layers. So I'll just tick that. Now you'll see a little star next to each layer. Go back to the main comp, go under that same column, only now because it's a pre-comp, it's called collapse transformation. So I'll click to add the star, and now you can increase the scale of that graphic as big or as small as you want, and you'll see there's no more pixelation or blurriness. And that is how to import SVG files into After Effects via Adobe Illustrator. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.